Hello everyone, this is GSG and I welcome you to this new video. It's a bit of a futuristic video. So if you're somewhat familiar with smart glasses, well, for the moment, there are several schools of thought. There are either the super stylish glasses that in the end don't do much that you really need, where well, you might say, well, what I would want is the same thing as on my phone, my laptop or my tablet to be able to either work, watch content or watch videos. And there the offering is often big headsets like that, which integrate a computer and are connected to a battery. Whereas with the computer, you feel like you already have a computer and your phone does it very well or your tablet which also has a battery or just a module, which is a small computer, because at the same time, you don't need something that incredible. And that's where Drokis Max do come in with a product that is really just incredible. A new generation, so it really is the Max 2. We'll see what has evolved in the product and how, and we'll end up with a rather efficient AR system because yes, I see through it. Yes, I will be able to have my computer, all that. Yes, I will be able to watch content. Yes, the image is incredible. Yes, there are speakers. Yes, it is Bluetooth, Wi-Fi. Yes, there's a box. Stop, because seeing products in photos is good, but seeing them in video is better. So unleash yourself and discover everything. Notice high tech on the smartphone. So, what are these Rokids Max 2? They are almost classic glasses, once again, through which you can see, but they mainly project a 200-inch screen with little speakers like this. The option to cover the front if you want to chill a bit on the plane. Uh, there you go. Um, we'll, we, we'll see that. Well, everyone I let try them, they looked and went, wow, come on. Um, with our package, we got three boxes. In the first box, we got our case to put our glasses in and to transport them. We'll see, we'll also have in there, well, our glasses. We will have a black light shield that you can put in front to really be a little bit in your bubble, not bad. We will have another removable nose pad again if you want to exchange it or if you have broken the old ones. And finally, we will have a USB type C cable, USB type C. So it is angled to plug into the back of the glasses. You'll see, it makes a lot of sense. There is a small manual, which you won't read anyway. In the second box, we'll have the Rocket Station 2, of course. Yes, because you understand, USB, you connect directly. Otherwise, you can use this device. So here, uh, we will have a touch module. In fact, it's like a small phone, but actually, it's just a touch module, a bit like a pad. Inside, there will be a battery, and especially, there will be an operating system that will allow you to access your content like this without needing a phone or device. We will also have a small silicone case since it's like a phone and you will take it with you. You can protect it. And finally, another USB Type-C cable, USB Type-C 4. Well, either charging the device, powering it, data, all that. And finally, we will have the third box. Yes, so in the, in the third box, we will have a USB Type-C adapter to connect directly under the smartphone. So you might say, but what's the point? I can already connect. No, the point here is to be able to connect under your phone and to be able, one, to power your phone and consequently, the, the headset and all that with an external battery or a power supply. And above all, well, to be able to plug the glasses directly instead. As you may have understood, it's a kind of two-in-one thing. So that's still rather interesting. Well, there you'll see the device. You clip it underneath on an Android device and below, one for power, and one to connect to the glasses. Otherwise, it will drain the phone battery a bit. That's where we see that the setup is roughly the same on our Rokid Station 2. Below, once again, we will have one, the possibility of powering and charging it, and two, well, a cable to connect directly to the glasses. Okay? On the top, there will be a power on off button and a charge level indicator. On the right, a back button and a button to go directly to the home. On the left, a volume up down button. And in the front, it's only a touchpad for navigating their application, their OS. We'll see that later. And at the back, there will obviously be an integrated battery, of course, and especially some ventilation. Because yes, with the battery and electronics, it gets a bit warm. Well, let's talk a bit about our Rockies Max 2 glasses. They are actually quite comfortable to wear. You might expect something a bit huge. They are claiming a perfect fusion between aesthetics and technology. Yes, well, first of all, the glasses are quite light, 75 grams. Well, which makes them glasses that are not really heavy. Once again, it's not a big headset that's a bit hard to wear. So it's carefully balanced and calibrated between the front and the back, resulting in rather pleasant comfort. And even if you want to wear them for a long time, you won't have a sore nose. Let's go. Let's explore our glasses a little. Let's, let's start with the temples. Uh, at the back of our temple, let's say the left one, uh, we'll have our connector to directly connect our glasses to our phone, laptop, any device with USB Type-C, like all devices you might say. 
And like that, they are self-powered in software and battery. Below this arm, you will have noticed we have two small speakers, which while not huge, are integrated there and are directly towards your ear. And when you put them on, you say, hey, honestly, the sound is not bad, especially considering their glasses. There you go. So there you go. It will make movie sessions more enjoyable. And finally, under the right arm, there will be a button that allows you to increase the brightness setting a little. So you press it once, twice, three times. It increases a little. And, uh, and actually, the other button will be the volume up, down button for your built-in speakers. It makes sense, right? Or rather, is within reach. Let's go back to our glasses a bit. You will have seen, indeed, the lower part is transparent again. But, well, we also have another small space. One, you have transparent glasses. And so when the projector projects onto them, you will see it in full screen, which is good. And you have especially a small space at the bottom, you see, to have a sort of neutral space where you can look without anything. You should know that your glasses are not completely stuck against your eyes, so you can easily look down, for example, at a keyboard. But I really like this little semi-transparent aspect and then this little free space. Because there, it can make a lot of sense, especially when we put a little video. At the top of our device, we will have the projection. And yeah, there, that's really the big advantage of these glasses. Wait, 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 later, later. So, we will have two adjustments. We will have two little knobs, which are knobs for adjusting myopia. And yes, quite nice once again. So it suits all users, you'll be able to adjust a little for myopia because, well, when I tried it, it was fine. And then I was like, well, but it's blurry. It needs adjustment there. Then it was all adjusted. And naturally, you can set up to minus six. So it's quite interesting because it really adapts to almost any correction you might have, like that, natively. And one of the questions on your mind is, does it work with glasses? So you see, I have my glasses on, especially when I work a bit. I put my glasses over them. Uh, there, look, well, at first, they, the glasses aren't stuck to the shink either. We're in a normal configuration. They rest on the glasses. It works great. You can also adjust myopia and everything. So yes, with glasses. Last time I tested, he had glasses. He asked me, does it work? I said, yeah. You put them over, then you just need to calibrate them well to have the screens a bit in front. It works perfectly. Uh, and that's a beautiful thing. It means that I have my contacts or that I have my glasses or that I have my contacts and my glasses on top because, because I'm getting older. Well, it works. So... For the display size, you will have a 300-inch augmented reality spatial screen. When you have your desk, it is in the middle of your environment. You see your environment behind you and you see the screen that overlays it. Or when there are films, it's still pretty good. Inside, there will be two micro OLED screens which allow you to enjoy a very, very good quality image. You will say the resolution. The resolution, if you set it to 2D, is double full HD. This means you have two full HD OLED screens. 1920 by 1080, one on the left, one on the right. And if you switch using their station with their OS, then you automatically switch to 3D mode because then you will have, then you will have their integration that will integrate into your space naturally. There we switch to 3D mode at 3840 by 1200. And, and yeah, that's more than enough. Well, one of the first modes in native, when I received the device, I take off my glasses, they're useless. I don't really need them. So when I received the device, the first thing I did was think a USB Type-C cable, I'll connect it to my computer. So I connected it to my Mac. I connect it to my Mac. My Mac says, do you want to switch to extended screen or clone screen? So I thought, oh, well, put it in clone. And we find ourselves with exactly the same thing on the PC, on the glasses. They announce a field of view of 50 degrees FOV. So, well, we have almost the whole space, which isn't bad. A refresh rate of 120 Hertz for those who want to go a bit towards gaming. And, uh, and so as a result, we have images that are smooth of quality. We have 600 nits and I can tell you that yes, we really have the screen that is uh, right in front of us and it still makes a beautiful image. It's true that I saw it, for example, when you're working, you're a bit like this, you have your screen and everything. It's really cool. So it's fixed. Once again, it follows your movement a little, but it stays kind of in the middle. If you ever say to yourself, yes, but for example, there is light inside or you don't want to be stared at a bit weirdly, you put this little cover over it. You see, it's a cover that's completely black. You put it on top and there you are in your own bubble. And we'll see later that if it's in video mode, there, there, you're going to love it. Well, the extended desktop mode, you'll have exactly the same as your laptop directly on it. You got it. But you can also put the little device, which they call the Rocket Station 2. So there, in fact, unlike, unlike my computer replication, we will have a basic AR environment. That means we'll have an integration. It's not easy to see. Uh, filming with a camera in glasses that projects inside is hell. But well, I try to do my best to transcribe it for you. So here we will have an environment that moves depending on how you move your head to overlay in the environment you'll have behind. It's not bad. 
in the player, you can, as you would have seen, either watch videos or look at photos. There are also little games like that. You can go on the internet and I don't track you at all. We're really dealing with basic classic features. I think one of the priorities for me is really going to be video because with video, yes, you can include it because it's a small computer, eight gigabytes of RAM. Yes, 128 gigabytes of red only memory. To put videos, you can put series, especially the new series. Well, let's not talk about it. Okay, the processor is a Qualcomm 6 Gen 1. Once again, very, very good for this type of device. Again, it's a small OS, you know, proprietary that runs the applications a little bit. It's not bad. It is also compatible with Bluetooth 5.2, so you can connect high-definition Bluetooth speakers like that or another headset if you prefer not to listen through the earbuds in the glasses. It also supports Wi-Fi 6 and has a battery of 5,000 mAh to enjoy your videos, work, or YouTube videos of GNG like that. We also have the touchpad literally at the front to be able to navigate a bit. And, uh, and they announced that you can run up to three applications at the same time. This will allow for a slightly expanded workspace. You can also enjoy smooth playback on Netflix, YouTube, Disney+, HBO, Prime Video, Apple TV, Hulu, and many more. So we had the global version because we can see that we have Google in the glasses. But as soon as we started the glasses in China with a Chinese IP, well, the icons did not appear. But at home, well, you will have all these icons. We would have also liked the option to have a pointer, somewhat like a laser pointer. That's where you can switch either between the touch controls on the device or display a pointer directly on your huge 300-inch screen. So can we connect it to a... Well, I have an iPad. On an iPad, it works very, very well. Similarly, they ask if you want to set it as an extended or enlarged desktop. Extended, it means you'll have one on the right, one on the left, and you have to slide. It's a mess. I like to put it in clone. There you go. So you have the same thing twice. It allows you, you see, to adjust your tablet, either to navigate like that within it, to play a video, and display it there. It's very, very good. So uh, on the smartphone, I only have a Samsung smartphone with USB Type-C, an old one too, but it works very, very well. So when I connect them, it automatically turns on Samsung DeX, which is a kind of computer like Windows, but Samsung to access the phone stuff. Well, it's almost better than Android because, well, here we find an environment and then, well, you can, with the phone, once more on Samsung, click on it, your Samsung becomes a trackpad, and you can go on it, watch JLG videos, of course, or the videos you'll download at grandma's. Well, I won't hide from you that when traveling, I went to Shenzhen, staying in hotels like that and all. In the evening, you put on your little glasses like that, you put on your little series, because you can easily look down. You see, when you're like that, you can easily look down at what's happening on your computer. While watching, you know, looking towards the horizon, you have your computer, you start your shows, a new series of legends and all, American series produced by George Clooney and all. Uh, there you go, you're watching that and all. With sound, you have an image, either directly on your computer screen, you double click, you go full screen, you have an image of 215 inches. I can tell you that it's incredible. It's incredible. It's so good. And surprisingly, I thought, for example, that after one hour, two hours, it would tire me out one in terms of where, and actually, no, it was quite fine, once again, and in terms of the eyes, because you still have the screens right in front. And actually, ma, not really, because once you see how these glasses are made, you'll see that it's not the screen you're looking at directly. It's the screen reflecting in the glasses, and it reflects at 120 hertz, and it's still in full HD. So when you put on the glasses like that, you'll feel a bit like a VIP watching our series. Personally, that's my number one use, uh, YouTube videos and videos like that, because we're working, uh, I don't work, of course. So, well, I tried with the products I had. They say it works well with Windows computers. So then, is it as simple as going into the settings to set up the split screen? I don't know how Windows works. The Switch, the Stream Deck, the PS4, the PS5, the Xbox, uh, well, all of that, once again, all products that have a USB Type-C output and that are compatible with video. You plug them in, plug and play, bam, boom. In fact, it's like having an external screen for the same thing. Except that here it's integrated into the glasses with the speakers and everything like that. The thing is self-powered with a battery and self-powered with an OS. They indicate to us that if you use the little box, well, obviously you'll get full 3D support. There are lots of small games and animations. Since I'm half blind, 3D doesn't work that well for me. But it seems that there is this application where when you're in three dimensions, you really see the thing coming. Since they have two screens, of course, which are independent and project, it seems that the three dimensions are incredible. I should take their word for it. Lately, it supports 4K at 30 FPS, even if they understood that it will only display in full HD or via their software, once again in 3D. Here, we would be more in a 4K mode, but it's really more than enough and very, very usable. I would have really liked their special album there, so it's not... 
They provided support to do the demo and everything. I can't go navigate in it, look around. It's too complicated with the camera. So I want to show you the few shots I took, but it was really a nightmare to film. There you have it, especially when you have them on your eyes and everything, it's fine. Plus, there is a sensor on the side and all, it's great. But filming is quite complicated. Well, there's also the Alibaba cloud streaming. I don't know, maybe, well, for me, since I'm in China, yeah, why not? The enforced 3D windows, well, then you have all the images in 3D, the uh, streaming videos like YouTube and everything and all the others that maybe I don't know. And once again, there you have it. We have 3D VR and especially Panorama. You can choose either via your computer or via their little box, which is actually quite good to watch videos, photos, games, and things like that. And YouTube videos, well, their box is incredible. There's Google in it and everything. That's, uh, it's perfectly sufficient. So what would I have liked? Well, uh, the compatibility, uh, the thing plus the gunplay, you plug it in, it works, there you go. And well, obviously it's gonna drain the battery of your laptop, tablet, or phone. It's really great, you plug it in, it's not bad. And at worst, you have an external battery, as we've seen, either you power your computer with the USB ports because there are several, or you have the special dongle, for example, for your smartphone or tablet. Well, there are really solutions that are good or much more integrated. And there, as a result, you have glasses that are much lighter, much more comfortable to wear, uh, especially over the long term, that have a very, very good quality, that have a new technology and all, well, it's OLED in full HD close to the eyes with the speakers and all, plus the little buttons for brightness, uh, privacy mode and all. Well, that's the only negative point I would have noted is the look, of course. It's not made to go shopping, right? We agree. Although you see, you see through, you... You can use them as glasses. They're like slightly transparent sunglasses. Or you drive like that, but then you're blind. So, uh, the look is a bit peculiar. You can really... But once there were so many weird ads with the, the Apple Vision, people doing all sorts of things, so there, as a result, if it's for you, it's for work, watching on the train, watching on the plane, watching in the waiting room or something like that, well then it remains, everyone will say, ah, oh, they're just smart glasses, period. It didn't shock me more, I think. They've shocked to the max already. So then coming back with something, something saying, are they Ray-Bans? No, they're not Ray-Bans. Ray-Bans are just a camera and a bit of AI. Uh, what's the point? Not much. Whereas here, watching movies, you're in for at least an hour for series and two hours of enjoyment for movies or YouTube videos. I try not to go over 10 or 15 minutes. And now I'll let you tell them how much, how much for the glasses in the display. During the AliExpress summer sales, you will only pay 432 euros 99 with the exclusive promo codes. Everything will be in the description. So let me know in the comments, what do you think about these glasses? Do you think we're really stuck between super stylish glasses that don't do much and headsets uh, that are too big and do way too many things you don't need and can't understand the use for? That this in between has a video mode, photo, work, relaxation a bit. You can even listen to music. It's still pretty interesting. So tell me what you think. Once again, don't forget to give a thumbs up or a thumbs down because all thumbs are allowed. Tell me. Hop, the Rokids Max 2. Yes, like that, you enter the giveaway are too good or not good, it's not what I would like. I would prefer another model. In that case, you can mention it to me. It might motivate them to send me the product. What would you expect from the glasses? But yes, I stopped, I almost choked. I'm a bit, I've caught a cold. It's 35 degrees and I'm catching a chill with the team. So tell me a bit about the kind of product you would expect, that you would hope for. I read all the comments, I respond to all the comments and even leave a little heart. And as your mother would say, you don't miss a thing. So to prove it right and to be sure not to miss my next video, because I have plenty of products straight from China like this that you might like, don't forget to subscribe, click on the bell, so you'll receive a notification as soon as the next video comes out. I have quite a lot of rather cool stuff that you'll dig. Boom, and that will be all for today. Thank you for dropping by, it's a pleasure. Have a great day, take care of yourselves, take care of your loved ones, keep your spirits up, and above all, stay open.